All right, animals, we're back on the zoo with model and reality star Nicole Williams. How are you, Ooh. darling? Yeah. <laughs> you ready to sit down on the hot seat, darling? I am ready. Okay, at the count of three. One, two, three. Wow. Wow. Okay, I, I oh. usually have to do this yes. whenever we get a galactically beautiful woman on the show. I have to start off by saying, <laughs> oh you God. are stunning. Thank you. She's married, Umberto. I know, okay. I know, and, and, and her husband's a lucky man. <laughs> Thank I, I you followed so his much. football career, right? He was a football player. Yes. He would kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just yeah, gonna be would. respectful and just say that uh, that, that I recognize your beauty. That's uh, all I'm doing. Okay, so go much. ahead and start with the end. <laughs> that was the most PG rated beauty recognition he's ever done. Yeah. Kick my ass. Yeah. That was, that was really awesome. Awesome. Okay. We're getting you places. Were nice okay. enough. That's called Larry's progress. He's really nice. So he's he's used he's used to it. He probably. I mean, when you marry, I think a, a beautiful woman like yourself, you just have to deal with the fact that a lot of people are gonna be looking at you. Wait, wait a minute. It just vice versa too, because I'm sure. A lot, a lot of, girls. of women look at Larry too. Yeah, he's pretty. Hot, he's, a, so. he's good on the eye. Yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> Larry, Fi Larry Fisher. Wait, what's his last name? English. English. Larry English. That's right. <laughs> Cornerback. Like, now he's gonna kill me. Yeah. He's gonna now, gonna, now he's gonna now kill me. He might kill you. He was fine <laughs> before. But. So a lot of people know you obviously from reality television, but yes. you're also an entrepreneur and you're doing all sorts of things, uh, a bathing suit line, yes. jewelry line. You even Scrubs. have a body scrub line? <laughs> yes. Oh, I didn't know Are body you wearing scrub. the jewelry from your collection? Um, <laughs> I'm not wearing any pieces right now. Okay. Um, we're on like a hiatus right now, but because I'm focusing on my swimwear. Nice. Yes. So tell us about that. So um, my swimwear is called Nia Lynn. Okay. Um, it's my brand and it's named after my niece and oh. my middle name and my mom, so the three women of the family. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, yes. wait, so what are the names then? Because now I'm, I'm confused, because you morphed so, them into one, right? So Nia is my niece. Okay. okay. She's five years old. I like um, that name. Lynn, Beautiful. thank you. Lynn is my middle name, and okay. then Linda is my mom. Nice. So, so Lynn, Linda, Nia. Yes. So Nia Lynn. So Nia Lynn, yes. Oh, so and have you always been an entrepreneur, or is this something that came about as of reality television? Well, I've modeled since I was... 12 years old, wow. and since then, my mom has always been a seamstress my whole life. Okay. So I've watched mm. her make clothes. Nice. She's always made my clothes, and then once I, you know, got old enough to get on the sewing machine, I'd make my own clothes. Wow. So, um, wow. you know, being in the modeling industry and the entertainment industry, yeah, I've yeah. just, you know, I just always wanted, you know, to be a designer, okay. and I was just waiting for the right moment, and I think that um, swimwear is like, I don't know, I've always been like a swimmer model, so I've always oh, wanted wow. to make my own swimmer. So I was like, yeah, you know yeah, what? That makes sense. Let me try and it. You have an like, audience. You have over a yeah. million Instagram followers. I yeah. checked. You know how I never do research on social media? Uh -huh. I, I looked her up. Um, <laughs> that's, that's pretty impressive. So it's cool. You have an audience. And, and, and uh, What's your ethnicity? You were, you were raised in Newfoundland? Yes, in I was, Canada. I was born in Newfoundland. Oh. And Newfoundland. Um, when I was 14, moved to Toronto. But well, you're, you're very exotic sure. looking. What's going on? So uh, <laughs> my background is Native Indian. Um, yeah, my grandfather's nice. side was Native. And my dad's British, so oh, I think wow. I got more of the native wow. skin color. Yeah. But um, first no, nation, the hair first and nation is what you're saying, Canada. First right? nation, yeah. First nation, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. Yeah. Canadians so, are very nice too, right? Because yeah. if you would have grown up in America looking like this, I doubt you'd be as nice as you are. <laughs> <laughs> so Nicole, I was very interested to see. I mean, to be reading about your jewelry line and how you wanted it to be super sleek, something called like timeless and fragile. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose this approach over, let's say, something like super big and bling bling? Because there's a lot of yeah. bling bling going on also out there in the market. Yeah. So what's your take on your brand? You know, I've always liked wearing jewelry that I didn't have to take off. Mm -hmm. You know, like I always wear my little Cartier or like a little or a little chain. Like I'm not really into big jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, so. But you're into big men. <laughs> but I am into. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I just wanted like timeless pieces, things that you don't even have to remember to like take off at night that you can just always wear, like little dainty pieces. Mm -hmm. So you wear all of this to bed? I wear these to bed. I actually wear my ring. Yeah, I, everything that I have on, I wear to bed. This is, is this your wedding That's ring? So funny. Yes. Oh my I God, can we bed. get a close up on this ring? It's it is like beautiful. sparkling from a mile yeah, away. That is you. That's what you call Briante in Spanish, right? Nice. He did really well. Nice. He, did he surprised you really, with it? He surprised me. You didn't choose this at all. Not at all. I actually wanted a marquee diamond, and him and the jeweler got together, and they were. He was like, "Do not get her a marquee. Like, get her an oval." Well, what's and the difference? So I don't even know. A marquee has like a point on the top and a point on the bottom, and okay. then an oval is just round all the way. Uh, got it. Uh, so you know, he knows that like I love jewelry and like I'm really particular about what I wear. So he was like, "Oh my God, do I go with what she wants or do I trust the jeweler?" <laughs> and so you know, the jeweler was also telling him to do white gold, and I wear gold, like okay. yellow gold. So he's right. like, "Get her pink gold," and he was like, "Oh my God." 
He was freaking out. He was freaking out. Because you so, can't return the ring, can you? Exactly. He's like, yeah. once it's done, it's done. It's so, beautiful. Thank you. So beautiful. So yeah, he flew to Thailand to surprise me. And oh, I thought you meant he went to Thailand just to get the ring. Oh no, no, no. He okay. went to New York. <laughs> How many carrots do you have on that finger, honey? Um, it's. Six, I believe. Six, yeah. okay. Just, just the engagement ring alone. Diamonds are a girl's it's best beautiful. friend. Thank beautiful, you. Beautiful. That's for Thank sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow. So, as part of your modeling career, you also went to Spain, correct? Yes. And how long were you living out there? I lived in Spain for two months. Two months, yes. wow. Did you learn a little bit of Spanish? You know, I got by. Okay. I yeah. don't know anything now. I mean, some some words, but okay. um, I did get by. The two months I was there, I started like understanding. Okay. Um, I had a hard time speaking, uh, but. It was fun. I mean, I went off on my summer. own. I was staying in a model's department. I was 16. Wow, so and they paid for everything for yeah, you to stay out there. Yeah. <laughs> and wow, so I was, I was just working and traveling around and, you know, I was looking at just enjoying like the... But you grow up quickly. Just, I mean, when you're I did, 16 I did, by yourself in another country. Yes, I did. I mean, was the, what are the pros and cons to that? I mean, it really helps you mature. I okay. mean, you grow into like your own skin and you, you get thick skin and you just... You know, you. I just feel like that helped me grow into the person that I am today. Like I, leaving my family at such an early age. And were they worried the when, they, when when you told yes, them? Yes, no. yes, yes, yes. My mom would drop oh. me off at the airport and be like, "Oh my God!" And you were sixteen, was saying, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> Is it really yeah. catty behind the scenes, like Naomi Campbell, crazy catty? <laughs> I've never experienced anything that catty. Okay. I mean, I did. I'm kind of an introvert, so when I'm oh, staying really? in a model's apartment or when I used to. I would kind of just keep to myself, and I always wanted a room without any other model sharing my room. I like my own space, and I, I just you. go out and do my same. own thing. I don't <laughs> depend on like making friends with models. We're all fighting for the same job, so I just keep to myself okay. and focus yes. on my goal, and that's it. So, oh. yeah. It's a we very get good, model. yeah. We get yeah. Travel, we get paid. <laughs> I am too little for that. Like, I'm super short. Sure. <laughs> I want to know what inspired your swimwear, because there's a lot of swimwear companies out there, right? Yeah. And, uh, there's a lot of kind of new, especially for women, designs and like ties in the front yes. oh, yeah. and the straps Everybody's in the back. Trying something so to what are you trying to do with your, with your collection? Well, I wanted my swimwear collection to be, you know, super sexy. Um, I'm all about like high cuts and, you know, a woman's figure and how a swimsuit should look on her. Um, you know, I'm really particular about swimwear or anything that's fitted. So, you know, I just wanted my collection to flatter a woman's curves. Okay. And, <laughs> and I didn't want to do like a huge collection. I just wanted to do something very small. Like I did six pieces, nice. three one pieces and three bikinis. Oh, nice. Um, I also sell the top and bottom separately because I know a woman doesn't necessarily have a small bottom and a small <laughs> top. So I, make sh I made sure to sell them separately. So if you want to get an extra small bottom and a large top for a bigger chested Interesting. woman. Interesting. That's that. smart. Yeah. Finally. So mix a match. Like that. Mix a yeah. match, yeah. yes. And then also my one pieces are more like bodysuits. So if you want to wear a boyfriend jean with it, you can wear it out. So, oh, no. I mean, I posted a photo the other day on my Instagram of me wearing a pair of cargo pants and then the bikini top. Mm -hmm. um, because they're not just bikinis to me and they're not just swimwear. You right. can actually wear them like on a yacht or at a pool party with a to pair Coachella. of jeans or it's a Coachella. They're Ooh. perfect for Coachella. So I just wanted to make it more <clears> of a lifestyle and not just like tanning or swimming only so you can mix and match it with your clothes and what does the hubby think about the swimwear line oh he's so excited for me yeah, yeah. do you model for him at i home? do every time a sample <laughs> came in i'm like babe look do you Ooh, like it do you nice. like it and he was he how was, can he say no so proud. <laughs> But he's very honest, so he'll be like, hold on, get the, here, I got a video of this for them. Okay, this strap should be like this. Like, oh, wow. Because oh, I've wow. taught him so much. Because yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. tell me the honest <laughs> truth because I want this to be perfect. Right. I was, I've been designing my swimwear for three years. Okay. So, um, with, and you've been married for one. And I've been married for almost one, yes. Almost one. Yeah. If you keep modeling for your husband, it's going to be, you're going to be married for the rest of your life. Because on it, look, we were, we were talking about being single today. But it, it, in the relationships I've had, the one thing that you got to do to keep it fresh is you got to be willing to put in the work to be sexy for the other person. Very I and, agree. You know, and, yeah. and that and keep that spice going. So Very true. Talk, talk to me about about. Are you seem to, to understand that? Yeah. Is that even more important in a relationship that's as public and has all these outside pressures Definitely. to kind of keep things spiced up and intimate? Definitely, because there and trust me, there are times when we're in the kitchen and we're bickering about onions, and he's just like, babe. This is not good. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. And you you kind of like, you know, you're going to have ups and downs. So you do have to keep it fresh and you have to keep the spark alive. Like, we're so busy. Our schedules are packed. Okay. Larry's, 
you know, doing his real estate. He's in the office every day. I'm traveling. We have two dogs. The house is a mess. Like, there, there are things that go on in the house where it's, like, not always the time to be sexy. So it's, like, you have to literally make time and just remember you know, we always sit down and we're like, remember when we first met? Like what oh, we used yeah. to do? Remember when we used to like stare at each other? And he, we, we'll laugh, but we'll like think about the things that we used to do from the beginning. Are you and still, then it like sparks that again. Are so you still shooting the show Wags? We are, we finished filming season three. So okay. we're just waiting now to see if we're going to be filming a season four. So. How is that for you? Is that a lot of outside pressure as well to, to be on a reality show? And then a lot of people think that that's exactly your reality. And, and it is real, but at the same time, it's not your behind the scenes life, right? Exactly. Was your wedding broadcasted there too? Yes, our yeah. wedding was on E. Um, uh -huh. I mean, oh, wow. a lot of things are shown on TV, but it's just really an hour, you know? Right. It's an hour of our life. It's, it's not our whole life. So, you know, Version. we could be going through something in, in that hour yeah. that we're over, you know, after filming is done, we'll be over it. So mm. it's like, I think that it gets a little bit frustrating at times when people think they know you. Oh, They're course. like, we know you. They'll be like, um, when are you going to release a, a swimwear line from Man Speedos? We need something yeah, sexy yeah, yeah. for Honestly. the dudes too. <laughs> just going to say, no, I, it's time. My, I, Nia Lynn will expand, so it's not okay. just going to stay with swimwear. Um, cool. I want to do unisex. I want to do clothing, furniture, pet, everything. Wow. So I'm planning on expanding Nia Lynn to be your really whole house. house. Everything. Awesome. So you are planning to focusing on your designing more than like your modeling or acting career at this point? Is that the, the path you want to take, the direction towards like designing fully? I, you know, I really want to do a good mix. Like I enjoy modeling as well. I was the face along with another model behind my swimwear line. Very nice. So modeling is is still my passion, mm -hmm. um, you know, and I still have goals for modeling. So I don't want to like completely give it up, but I truly, truly love designing. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've, I'm right now. I'm really, really focused on the design side. It just makes me so happy, and I just love to create. So, yeah. as long as I can be creative, if I could be the model with the creative side as well and mix the mix them both, that'd be. Yeah, it's like the awesome. perfect, the best of both yeah. worlds for you. Is one of those Amazing. goals to like brush off all those people that have. I was surprised that you said in an interview that people ask you for money online. What oh is my this? God, oh, they really? Do. Yes, they what? do. Like, what kind of money? They Why? asked me for college money. They asked me for money for like the hospital. They asked me just for money in general because they want to buy a house. Is what it spam or people that follow Whoa. you? I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably follow me. But the, on just, your DM or something? Yeah. Or on the. <laughs> <laughs> I have crazy. never. You must. You know what it is. People have you have like, that Canadian vibe. Oh, that that I was talking crazy. about. Really Maybe nice. we can get her. Yes, <laughs> she seems nice enough that yeah. I would give her some like tear jerking like Whoa. story <laughs> about like life that she'll give me some money. Well, they see. I think they see like how you know. I, I'm really soft. I mean, I okay. post a lot for animals. I, anything right. that I could do to help whatever is going on, I usually put it on my Insta story with a swipe up and a link. Um, I think people see that side of me, and so they're like, she's soft, let's get her. Well, right. that, says, that says amazing things yeah. about you, yes. that you're willing to put yourself out there and bring light to these things that a lot of people don't like to talk about because it's a yeah. stigma, or especially people in your position who have a lot of followers who don't want to be like, you know, the charity person or whatever, yeah. but it's not that. It's like, I'm a human who cares about things that are happening, right. and so I'm gonna post about right. them, which I think is really cool. Yeah. I, I, just, I just wanna go ahead and, and say, um, I'm not gonna go ahead and ask you for money. I was planning on it. <laughs> wait until the end of the show. He was. Dennis, he said, Dennis said, wait till the end of the show. He I said, fine, you're right. I was gonna start with it, but I, so I'm not gonna, so Vivian, I'm gonna, Vivian, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. need you to spot me 20 bucks. <laughs> For your Uber, is that what it is? I'll give you a tiny bucks. No bro, I'll, help you, I'll help you with your gym membership yeah. too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Awesome. We are like, awesome. yeah, I know, it's a little ridiculous. Now, that's what you mentioned. You know, we've been talking about the animals and stuff like that. Is the line pet friendly? Are yes. you vegan or vegetarian just because you're also involved with PETA a lot? Right. I, I'm a huge animal lover, huge animal activist. Um, I haven't eaten meat in over six years. Oh, um, and I've been trying to be 100% vegan over the past year and a half. Wow. Um, you know, nobody's perfect. I don't go online and, and tell people, you know, I'm not shoving it down their throats, but I do show people like things you can cook that are not animal products. Um, you know, and I let people know like it's okay. Like if, if you want a cheese pizza one day and you feel like it's Thank too you. hard to be vegan like all at once, it's not, it doesn't happen in a day. Right, right. It's, it's, yeah. it's a learning process. You need to learn how to eat all over again, learn what to cook, learn how to make things taste good. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, it's, it's really, a really hard. We have compassion for animals here because this is the zoo. Yes. The zoo. Yes. Oh, yes. What a good note to end it on. Nicole, thank you so much yeah, for being you. here. Thank you for having me.